one owner car guy and this one here I've waited for just a little while on I love these old big block cars this here is a one owner 1974 Oldsmobile 98 with the big old 455 on it Ooh, man it's a beautiful car. I just did a video of that Catalina wagon you see back there. That'd probably be my thumbnail now, the side of the car. Hopefully it's something like this. Beautiful car. If you're looking for a 98, you're gonna be hard pressed to find something like this. This thing has to have been garaged. Um, I'm just about as sure as shooting that it's the original factory paint all over it. Um, if they did anything, they did a damn good job. Um, it is just as nice as the day is long. Sometimes the day ain't that long. That's not a good comparison. This is beautiful. How's that? Um, I keep going around, kind of do a once around. It's got the Landau, Tonau, vinyl top on it. Vogue top, whatever you want to call it. It's a hard top, big old car. I like them factory hubcaps on it. With the big old 9.8 chrome trim everywhere. Man, this has been when they, when they made cars. Real metal, real chrome, real, real, real. My name's Nathan. It's 406-544-6919. You can reach me absolutely anytime. My website, oneownercarguy.com. If you check that out, I have like 60 to 100 pictures of each of these cars on there that I just don't get to upload to YouTube. I sure do love YouTube for letting me upload this and be completely upfront and honest and show all the damage on these cars. It's easy to take something and take a picture of it and make it look good. To actually go up and show the damage, it's hard to show this stuff online and be honest. YouTube makes it really easy. I'm going to start on this side and show you anything wrong with it that I see, um, any visual or anything like that damage. And I'll tell you, this thing is straight. Straight. Small little chip starting there. You know, the um, 70 I have is the one with the original paint. This has been painted at some point, I believe, and they did a good job, but you can see a little bit of it on the, uh, like a chalkboard sound, on the trim there. And you can clean it all off very easily. A couple pieces of the trim are loose on the clips there. These fender skirts are in just great condition. I already had a guy offer to buy them off me. I can't sell my skirts. And my panties would show. Hang on a sec now. Wait, that wasn't the right thing either. I don't know if that's factory. Yeah, that is factory correct. Wow, pretty cool. The trim split the light. I'm going to look on the other side now. Straight paint over that trim. Was that factory? I don't know. I'm not thinking so. I'm thinking that should be chrome. Here too. This top has all kinds of cushy. Yes, my hands and nails are dirty. I've been working on stuff all day long, and I'm sorry. It's like a disclosure because I get comments on it because they are dirty. Little spot right there. And he's put a little some silicone on it to keep it from leaking or spreading. So nice and cushy. I'm not kidding. No rips or tears or anything besides that one little spot I showed you. Um, this isn't even shined up. I was looking around. I've got it right here. Check this out. I got this little 46 over there also. Had a little bit of wax here. Put a little piece on it. And I tell you, I just didn't do a whole lot to this car besides just kind of get it for sale. What you really need on this is some mothers. And it'll shine up a bit and look a lot better. Really put some elbow grease and we can see what I did right there. But all the chrome trim's beautiful. Even the piece going around the windshield like that is just beautiful. Everything in here is tight and nice. Window sweeps are all in there and most of it's on there still, but you still got pieces of the felt there that's off. There you go, that's the piece I mean that's off. Kind of dry. Should be all the way in there. But everything down in the sweep is good and it's kind of holding it tight. They don't rattle around when you drive a lot, is what I'm saying. Piece of the foam here is kind of chunked a little bit. And this piece of trim is flattened out. I think he may have just lightly creased something there. And there might be a little bit of a ding there. There he is, right there. 
beautiful hubcaps. Wheel wells still have the factory plastic coating thing on them. Great condition, the spots you see are armor all. The frame is clean and dry, just dry and not all rusted and corroded up. There'll be some patina on stuff wherever the, um, let's see, you see that patina there? Wherever the rocks will chip off any of the paint. And that's where, see I put some uh, rust proofing stuff on that right there. And I didn't go and put it everywhere, like in the back parts there. Just over the stuff to make it look nice and presentable there on your front end. Um, and I want to not hide anything, so I leave the other parts to where you can see that what we did there. Little pieces here coming off on that crack. Your bumper is just slightly starting to get some spots on it. Um, the rubberized stuff is still good and nice around here. Lenses, bezels are nice. A little chip on that one right there. Nothing you'd ever replace, but some of the... I think that should be... Oh, that's rubberized. It's still in there. Wow. On both sides. Little black paint chipping off. Across the hood is just beautiful. Whoa, the sun's shining out of my eyes there. Missing the hood ornament. Trim going down both sides of them. Fenders is nice. I love these big old... Big old cars, man. Big old boats, I call them. Hard top. Nathan, 406-544-6919. You can reach me absolutely anytime. Gonna take you for a test drive here, roll you down the road, show you how she goes, show you the insides when we get downstairs. Um, chrome on this car is just absolutely beautiful, just shiny as can be. You can see another chunked out piece of the foam there. This piece has a little bit of something starting on it, how the chrome gets. Everything else, man, this, I think that's brushed aluminum there, stainless. Stainless? I'm not sure. It sure is stainless, I think. It sure is pretty, though. Little crack starting right there. Guys, you just put something on it to keep it from going. Get one of them, um, that's sure, it feels good. Vinyl repair die kits from, um, Walmart has them now. And that's about it. A few chips like this. And that's about all there is to talk about. On the back, this piece is in great condition, how they're usually broken up. This piece here, your fuel door, that is a cool little flap. It's a rubberized flap on that. And this piece is missing here. And the bumper seems just pushed in just a tad. A little chip on the light. Let me show you down under here. See, in contrast, I didn't do nothing to this right here. Come on, low light level adjustment. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. There we go. Didn't do nothing to that. And you can see it's the original black. It's just dingier looking. So we degreased it in the front and put a little bit of that rust proofing stuff on it. Now you can see, I think he put a gasket and did some work to the rear end. In fact, the drive line there looks like it's been built and worked on. New shocks on it, uh, newer. Uh, pretty dang new, they shiny as can be. Small, um, Sticker there, I can take that off if you want. Uh, corrosionary type stuff starting where the top metal on the bumper is going right on the two sides. A little piece of the rubber chunked out right there. It's as nice as it gets. If you're looking for a Delta 98, look at that paint, man. It's beautiful. Beautiful. Not all rusted up, and it is solid behind the wheel wells, behind everything here. You know, I think they're... No, it's just a little smudge right there. It came right off. Not rusted on the top, but you can see some color starting right there. In a couple places. Now we'll start and look at the back seat here next. All your chrome, a couple chips right there. Just trying to make sure that I got everything, and I believe I did www.oneownercarguy.com Take this thing around the block here and we'll do it to it. Um, I'll put it under there. Yep, that's it. Check out some of my other videos. I've got over 650 of them now on here. And lots of cool one and two owner Euro classic muscle cars. 
like this. I love these hard top four doors. Head on down the road. Thought my camera was going dead, but it was my phone, my other phone. Let these freeway people pass here. That's just a little bit down on the gas, buddy. This thing rolls on down the road. I mean, that's all there is to it. Got the tilt steering and all. It wants to just go at half throttle, buddy. These are a blast to drive. They ride just like a dream. I don't know if it's the weight that holds them down or just actual engineering is that good these are a great car um, everybody looks at this car I've had people tell me man put big old 24s underneath that thing and I've had people say no way leave it stock leave it stock you know whatever you want to do with it before they started putting wheels under these things nobody wanted them um, and they're so classic and for the money you know I dig a sedan, even in what I drive. I drive, I, I drive right now a XJ8 Sport and a W140, both in sedans. And it's not because there's no coupes out there. I mean, I just, I like a sedan. Gas is a little low. Man, you felt that thing shift? Well, you didn't feel it. I hope you kind of seen and heard the shift there. It just shifts beautifully. we can do to get it up to 35 there take it wide in here to get in my driveway now I didn't go the other way that I was gonna go into the back oh perfect no one's blocking me now makes it hard here to actually get my pictures um, at this time of day I got two of my cars in there right now the 300e and the Fiero don't know if you've seen that I'm gonna I'm gonna almost leave it right here. I feel my camera getting hot. And I'm at 13. One owner car guy, and my camera overheated there. And I lost everything. So, kind of coming back in this underground part, better part of the day, anyways. And I'm getting a lot better shadow to show any damage to where you can see just how nice and how undamaged this thing is. One owner, 1974 Oldsmobile 98. Beautiful sedan. I'm going to go in now and show you the insides. And it sure is a pretty car. It had to have been inside just most of its life. It's just, you know, it's hard to say like new. Because it ain't like new. It's like old. But it's as new as you're going to find in any of these cars. Totally maintained and well taken care of. Absolutely beautiful from every angle. I love how everything looks here in the nice wetness of everything. Look at this. For this piece of rubberized material to stay this good, this long, look at it with the factory handle grip in there. Okay, loving the hard top sedan. Totally slick. Let my low level light adjustment hit. Let's show you them seats. There we go. Takes a second, but once it does, it's in. It's on. I love that. That looks good, man. Woo! Show you the headliner. It's in great shape. Let me show you the back seat here first. 
kind of a different way of coming at this one just because it's different the way it opens up my low level light adjustment takes a second once it kicks in you can see everything beautifully the headliners in great shape right here you've got a little bit of wear on this piece looks like from rubbing his head in and out getting in There I am. Oh wow, my facial recognition actually pops a little arrow on me when I'm looking. Now this dash has got the long old dash reaching out there. And that thing ain't got no cracks in it, man. It looks beautiful. Door panels, absolutely beautiful. With all your power options and everything. Seats and everything are all power and everything works there. Tilt up, down, all that. <clears throat> there just ain't no pedal wear. And what I believe is 63,000 original miles. No wear on the wheel really, no wear on the pedals. Just from looking underneath, I believe that they are totally original miles. Always hard to know for sure when they're pre-81. And so that's why everything 10 years and older is federally exempt. But man, this thing starts up nice. And I've got a couple Oldses. And I didn't remember. This is the one where everything's hooked up and it doesn't come on. I believe it's a fuse issue. It could not, maybe it's not that one. Oh, there we go, it's not, haha. <laughs> and I have to, you'd have to set your fade and stuff. It's a little off. And in the glove box, I'm going to have to show you all that. After I figure out if this thing, it's balanced all over there. So that means that I believe you've got an issue. I believe this speaker right there is out. It's good and loud on everything else, but that one's out. And... I can sell you a set of speakers for, oh, between 15 to 40 bucks. This one's a little loose here, I'm sorry, and I don't fix little things like that, I leave them. Um, give you something to work on. Factory button there works. Come on now. And it holds it, but a slight little crack right there from it. Sure is pretty. Everything on it's just nice, nice, nice. <laughs> little hole here, little hole bore there. <laughs> you don't see the original carpet and everything like this in this kind of shape on a 1974. And the Delta 88, the Delta 88 Royal, the Custom Cruiser, and the 98, all that manual work for them. And actually, I got a 70 or 71 Delta 88 Royale. I love flipping through these old manuals. Oh, I also got two more things to tell you here. The number one thing is, I just put a brand new starter and clean water. Oh yeah, the detailer got a little water on the distributor cap. And um, then we had to put a starter in it. This big old chunk of silver on here does not come with it. That is silver, buddy. That's sterling. That is so heavy. I just realized that. Huh. Well, you ain't getting that. That's all. I'll sell it to you. That right there is going to be Breeder's new collar, though. That's a poodle. I'm going to leave this open. Nathan, 406-544-6919. We popped the trunk there for you. Ooh, buddy. 
clean. Clean, 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 clean. This piece here. Wow, you've got the piece. Yes, sirree. Yep, that piece for the other side. That's a nice piece to have. Jack tool. And as you can see, this is just not... You got a little paint flaking off there. No rust. Surfacey type stuff patina where the paint fell off. Ah, uh, JC Penny battery warranty. <laughs> you checked everything on it. You get these old original one owner cars and these guys take care of them. Chewed up a little on that trunk liner. The all rest of it's good. No musty smells or nothing. Once again, my name is Nathan. It's 406 544 6919. You can reach me anytime. My videos are getting longer. I'm sorry if that bothers any. See, look at that. We don't even hardly clean this stuff up. I mean, it gets me mad because I feel like all I ever do is clean. But yet, then when I get down to it, Nothing's clean. And that's why I can't keep my hands clean. I actually wash them specifically, scrub the heck out of them before I do any pictures. And the next thing you know, I gotta clean. Ooh, little rub mark. Yeah, right there. In the carpet. Just to where you know, I like to be 100% up front. I don't think that third light is supposed to be on there. Uh, I'll leave that up to you whether to leave or not, but not 100% sure. I don't think I showed you under the hood, so we'll do that. You've seen under the trunk. You've seen just about everything you can see on this bad boy. Make sure and check out my other videos. Like I say, I just did the um, Pontiac Catalina wagon. Oh, top piece is there. The bottom of the O and the D is gone from the bottom part of the trigger pull. Them seats are redone. I don't think they're original type thing. And it's got the vinyl on the side and the cloth on top. Now I can get them done in a more period correct looking cloth or vinyl for you. Really inexpensively. My guy is good. And inexpensive. Oh, that hood comes up so easy. Now, this wasn't even cleaned. You can just wipe it. Can't see how much cleaner it comes. Plain and simple. They told me specifically that they clean that up. Oh, we did that. Did ya? Well, that shows you how much cleaner it'd be. Um, 455 cubic inch, four barrel. It has been changed to R134A, I believe. Oh, they put a new compressor or something on it. Uh, belt is off, but the compressor spins free. <clears throat> I'm thinking that they had a, you need to be re-retrofit. That is not retrofit. I bet you that's the radiator. Yep. Yep, radiator. Well, that's the deal. Let's get this bad boy straightened out here. Everything under here is just clean as can be. The, like I say, this is not locked up on the compressor, so that should be good. Um, this camera really does good at the low light level adjustment once it gets down in there. And that should kind of answer all your questions on any of this stuff and give you a really tight look. Oh, this is really clean up in here too. Let me get you the build tag where you can pause it. There you go. And your tanks. All the plastic tanks on this car are good. That's a big difference when you get a Cutlass with a 455 in it or a, like Hearst Dole's. 
That thing had everything under the hood ripped out and all kinds of wires hanging everywhere that you don't know where they go. It's got the original stuff on it for, look at this, right in the way it should be. The starter was a breeze to change. So, really easy to work on. Oh, I put a new hose on top here. That's right. Other than that, I guess that is the deal under the hood. I've left the doors open to where you can get that big open door type of look with this thing. Gotta love that. It just looks great. My name is Nathan. It's 406-544-6919. You can reach me absolutely anytime. www.oneownercarguy.com Also, check out my other site. It's www.cerealmarshmallows.com I sell the same marshmallows that are in your uh, morning breakfast cereal. You'll absolutely love them. They're great in baking, great in anything, actually. Great in your oatmeal. This car would look great in your driveway with you driving it to church on Sunday or to the store or wherever it is you may go. I'm trying to think of anything else I didn't show you on it, and it's really hard to do it. I don't think there is anything else. I'm going to kind of walk down the side, closing doors as I go. I'm going to get this out of his way for him. Actually, I'm not in his way. He was honking at someone else. So I lucked out. You need me out of here. And that is it. Cool. Want to get a nice outro for you. Nathan, 406-544-6919. can reach me absolutely anytime. And www.oneownercarguy.com. Can't think of anything else I did not show you on this beautiful Oldsmobile. So I'm going to call it a day, call it a video, and go film a van. Now, next Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, I've got a 70 Olds Delta 88 coming up. And lots of other cool stuff. Just had a satellite I'm putting on here now. Or a Fury 3, I mean. And a Catalina wagon. Check out my other videos. Subscribe. You'll love them. Thanks for watching. Any port in the world, I'll send this thing out to you. Europe, Japan, you name it, I ship everywhere. We'll talk to you.